Hello, Jay. <laughs> Hello, Josh. Um, how are you? <laughs> I am probably better than you, I think. I thought I was stressed, but you seem way more. It's just been a long few days, isn't it? It's just, just you know, yeah. slow morandering, what? small morandering crawl to death. Doing. Yeah. Um, Adam, unfortunately, we're, we're both us working man. today uh, because he's dead. Um, we sacked him. Uh, he's, he's out. Gone. We he's don't gone. want to. <laughs> no. um, he's busy. Well, he's not busy. He's busy. He's free in a little bit, but I'm not free in a little bit. And Jay's only free in this little window. And then my window's here, and then Adam's window. Right. Cool. Where are we going to start, Jay? What's happened to, to, in the world? What? What? I, I guess. <laughs> With, with my I think, yeah, <laughs> the biggest starting point would be the Spurs City game. Biggest uh, game of the weekend, and it did definitely supply with some drama, didn't it? Yeah, I need to really start carrying around notes or taking notes in my phone because I'll definitely forget <laughs> one of the major points. Um, so I'm, I'm just yeah, going to yeah. see if I can quickly run through them with you now, and then we'll revisit them in a little bit more detail, if that makes sense. So my yep. talking points are how <laughs> we were twatted. <laughs> Point one. Um, point, <laughs> point number, one. Point number two. But then again, if you make 30 chances and you only score two of them, you don't deserve to win. So let's put that as a caveat straight away before I go into all this. Caveat to ha 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 point yeah. one. Yeah. Um, VAR is bollocks and it's hilarious. But, oh my <laughs> God. I mean, VAR is not bollocks. The handball rule is bollocks. That's different. Yeah, we, that's but, our view, but isn't it? Still, mental. Like, mental that goal was disallowed. No. And three... You you need a bit of all. You need a bit of luck, and we played well, and that's what you need to go away to the Etihad, to the champions, two years running, the best team the Premier League's ever seen, in the, domestically. So, yeah, yeah, no, I um, I was actually, I was unfortunately, I didn't get to see this game, and I'm quite gutted after the result. I obviously watched the highlights. I obviously saw the controversy, but I bet it was incredible to watch it for you guys in that last. It was quite a minute. Funny. Like, again, 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 it happens. Again, well, so I just, uh, so I can't, uh, genuinely, you've watched football with me before, so you'll know this is, you could probably imagine this. Um, as yeah. I, me and Ross were just sat there, and we were saying, like, if we lose, it doesn't matter. And we genuinely thought that mm -hmm. all the way through, because we deserve to lose, City were battering as the goal was coming. And then when, like, Lucas Moura came on, which, as much as Poch definitely brought Lucas on for a goal, he definitely didn't bring the five-foot man on to score within <laughs> 19 seconds. I say 19 seconds, he was on the pitch for 19 seconds. The ball was active for three before he scored. That was probably not part of the game plan. Um, that is insane. <laughs> but no, anyway, so... Um, no, Poch knew, Poch knew. There was a City fan in the pub, and as they won it, I just went... <laughs> Oh, but there's that like moment after the 87th minute where suddenly it does matter if you lose, even though all through the game you don't. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, fair enough, we lose. As soon as you get to the 87th, you're like, oh, don't lose now. Yeah. But this, this yeah, yeah. City fan just stood up and went, fucking have that. And he was doing it to the room, but he was definitely doing it to me and Ross. Yeah. And then I, mean, I was sat there, Ross was sat there, and we were kind of like, <laughs> ah. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted, and then all of a sudden the refs yeah. like, and we're like, no, <laughs> and I'm like, what has happened? Is that? And then everyone's like, that <laughs> signal now is so like heart wrenching when you just see like that. <laughs> well, not for me, but um, no. And then I was had I was a few pints deep, so I just it literally you know VAR no goal, and I just stood up to that city fan and just went fucking have that, <laughs> and then just laughed hysterically for literally five minutes. And I wasn't <laughs> laughing at my hilarious comeback. I was oh, just no. laughing at the result. Like, that is so funny. And s s but yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're gonna again, well, that's what you put in all the chats, didn't you? Oh, it was. Hilarious. I think like I had three notifications going. Ha 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 ha. It was hilarious. But then again, I still I firmly stand by the point is you, if you make thirty chances and don't win the game, you only have yourself to blame. If you've got Aguero, Sterling. Uh, That's crazy, I didn't know that stat. It was 30 to 3. The chances. Was it. So, was it like the fact that they were just just missing them, or was it well, Lloris had a good was, game? What was, was it? There was, no work, there was no clawing out the top corner, but he dealt with pretty much everything that got thrown at him, apart from the ones that he obviously didn't. <laughs> like, and then, yeah. They yeah, were, obviously the two. They were, I will just make a quick point to say that I have never been so. 
unbothered by an opening goal in my life. De Bruyne's ball in. Me and Ross went, fair fucks. <laughs> my God, that was a Yeah, ball. that's just... Like, yeah, oh, it's incredible. He's a, he's a player, isn't he? It was he? like, do you know, like... Incredible. You know um, in video games wherever you put a mortar shell in and they have that little line that comes out <laughs> and it goes yeah. exactly where you want it? That's how I think his vision works. That's one of your best analogies this season, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh, and you could know it was good going in as soon as it left. Oh my yeah, God, yeah. it was incredible. So I was like, fair. And then, who else? Who? Uh, for Lamella's goal, like, A, ha, 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 how are you letting Lamella's goal from 25, <laughs> 30 yards? But B, what is Edison doing? Yeah, no, it's just like... He's just off his line, just having a chill while just... we're charging towards It's like, no, Edison, that, that's how... Like, <laughs> Like, Lamella had fine. to do nothing for that goal. Like, fair play to him, he saw the chance to shoot. But, like, I was like, it was literally we hadn't had an attack, and then we just saw Lamella and we're like, oh, Lamella's on the ball. Oh! <laughs> He's gone. Oh, Lamella's scored. And then, yeah, Lucas Header and Aguero's little flick. All oh, it wasn't a good game. It was a nice game. Fun times were had. Yeah, really good game. Really good game. I think um, we have to talk a bit about VAR. And I know, as much as we. We don't disagree with VAR, we disagree with the rule. VAR has already implemented a new weird feeling into the game. And of course, it's it's pissing everyone off. But for you, in that moment, you must have loved it. And it is, it's adding almost that weird suspense to the game, but in a different way, well, I think. We'll be there without it. It, it it doesn't add to, it's, add, it's it give or take of away it's adding to me taking away from City just if that rule yeah, wasn't yeah. there it would be added to City and subtracted from us so yeah yeah also it's just if VAR is being implemented and I obviously get I know exactly why because for clear and obvious penalty decisions mm-hmm. they leave it to the ref but for things like handballs and goals the ref gets overruled for some reason like Lamella mm-hmm. holds Rodri down in the box like that is <laughs> yeah yeah pen. All day long. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's all balance. We'll lose out to games and we'll. Mm. Oh, Sam's just like my tweet about Chelsea. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, I haven't I haven't been on my phone all day properly. Um, sorry, it just pops up like because <laughs> I'm recording on my phone. Um, <laughs> I still think we could do without it. I would have happily, lo- if we'd lost that game, I would be sat here right now with probably not that much difference. That less, like, less ha 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 ha's, but yeah. I'd just be sat here like, fair enough. We gave it a good shot, but City beat us 3 2. Fair play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and again, it's City, and City, like, they are now becoming that just like, you don't even care if you lose because you expect to lose now off them. You just do. Yeah, even it's crazy. Those losses knock them out of the Champions League. <laughs> um, no, uh, that, that, that's all I have to say on the matter, really. Um, let's no, talk yeah, it's incredible game about Chelsea being shit. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> so I I watched this game on my phone in a spoons with Hope's family, so I didn't get the best um, like view oh, of the game. Sorry, but... I was, I was, yeah, sorry. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and so. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of talking points. I think a lot of the same things are being said, and and they are still very much true. How you know the squad is still trying to develop and learn, and you know, and Frank's still trying to get things right because again, he's not a Premier League manager. He like he, he hasn't is. been one yet. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, he hasn't been one yet. He's still he's still learning alongside us. Not all our squad, obviously, but uh, uh, some of the p- portions of our squad are still learning. That being said. It was the second, um, the first half we were incredible and this is a, a theme now for us. We start out so good and that's the football. You can see he wants and we can do, we just can't sustain it. But I think the biggest problem that game was the second they got the goal or I think it was the lead up to that goal, we then flapped it. It was the lead up. It was the lead up. You were flapping yeah, the yeah. before they actually got it. And it's just like the mentality just... Like when once we start getting a bit of pressure on us, we start flapping, and it's it's quite strange. Well, so here's my thing, and I'm not just gonna slag you off here. I think this, the exact same thing can be said for United, and it sort of explains why they beat you as well. Is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Frank 
are people that are sorry, I don't know why I was full name with one of them there and like speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, um, Ooh, Frank. Are the, are the perfect managers for pure, you'll run through a brick wall, rile up, motivation, excitement, come out the blocks flying, give it everything you've got, you know, get them, win the first ball. But that's not a tactic. That's a way to get you through half an hour of a game. And then as soon as mm -hmm. your legs are tired and you need to start tactically thinking and tweaking and switching, they, will, they both fall apart. We saw it with Wolves because Wolves yeah. should have won. But I know United yeah, missed the yeah. penalty technically, the but end. Wolves looks far better. And yeah, let's be honest, end, yeah. like, even though you were the better team in that first half an hour, Wolves absolute, uh, Leicester absolutely battered you guys. And yeah, yeah. Towards the end, they had so many opportunities to score. Well, I'm surprised the draw was the actual result because they just, if it, if they were clinical, they would they could have put us down easily. What was it like seeing the, um, the rip off Germany kit against you? Oh, it was fucking annoying. <laughs> you know, I remember I was again. I was at this meal and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, they're wearing that. And like, Hope's uncle was like, what? And I was like, they're wearing a oh, kit. Damn it. No. Um, what? Watch our other video. You'll understand. <laughs> How dare you stand where he stood? It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> Link him live. Just hold on. Um, no, because like so some of the cardinal sins, like that's the thing as well. Like Brendan Rodgers is not a world class manager. However, he's experienced enough mm -hmm. to, be, to make changes. To yeah, tweaks, and he, he, whereas Frank just yeah. Apparently, he did this at Derby as well. He just doesn't bring the players off that he needs to bring off. No, yeah. Um, I, uh, some of his substitutes have been quite like for like. Um, yeah, that's the issue like with Chelsea last season on. as well, though, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, but I, 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 again, I'll say it again, I'm still optimistic. I'm still excited to be a Chelsea fan. I'm still so proud of being a Chelsea fan. I don't I don't really, like, as much as I can comment on this, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, as much as I can comment on the game, and yeah, of course, that game did not go as a plan and shouldn't, we could have got more points out of it. I'm still happy being a Chelsea fan. I'm still happy seeing that, you know, the development trying and going, especially with Mason Mount, who, who was exceptional that game, I must say. Go on, you say you want to say no, something. You just not, you not, my, my concern is that I'm, I'm not going to get them all here, but like, just in terms of managerial experience in the Premier League, and I'm going to list some lower league clubs here. You've got Nuno, you've got um, Pellegrini, Harson Hussle, Brendan Rodgers, and who, what else is sort of in that top? I don't know why I mentioned Southampton in there, but in that sort of bracket as well, you've got uh, Watford with, um, oh God, Javi Garcia. Garcia. Um, and then. You know, I was just worried that because like the the one of the best points I not best points but the radio made a very good comment as well because I was on a bike ride for the second half was like man for man like Leicester squad's better than Chelsea's at the moment. Well, yeah, Leicester have a good squad um, <laughs> and and relatively experienced. Yeah, no, um, don't get me wrong. That's a, that's a worry. Of course, it's a worry. I would be a bit. I've, I'm not that blind. Like I think I've been quite fairly strict, but also optimistic with my comments so far. But um, yeah, of course, it's a worry. But I'm. Not, I don't. I don't know if this this is probably me being biased, but I just don't see us dropping off that much. I can see it like Where we're not going to get top four. So I'll tell you about the tweet that I reposted today, just because it's quite relevant. Go on. It was it was the top six teams, and I'll see if I can do this just out because of curiosity. And it was which of the, these mm. front three have impressed you the most? And it's Firmino, Salah, um, Mane. It was Lucas, Kane, and Son. It was James, Rashford, Martial, uh, Pepe, Aubameyang, Lacazette. <laughs> Uh, not Chelsea yet. He's at City. It was Sterling, Aguero, Bernardo Silva, and then for Chelsea it was Pulisic, Pedro, and Tammy Abraham. And it's they said which of these strike partnerships have impressed you most over the first two games? It's like believe it or not, it's not the one where they have only scored one goal as a team, and it's Mount. That's not the front three that's impressed <laughs> me the most. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's very fair. Like, but is that uh, not our, on that um, book? But <laughs> our squad isn't. Looking past that joke, though, is that not such a worry? Mm. Like, l l lay, really think about those front threes I've just put out. All of those six front threes I've put, and that's not including Jota, Jimenez, and let's say Neves, for argument's sake. That's not including Vardy, M uh, Madison, and uh, Barnes or Gray, whoever goes in there. That's, is that not such a worry? 
There's no goals in your team. It, yeah, it's, 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 it is a worry. I think, I, you know, we touched upon it before, but the, the probably the biggest worry for this season is the fact that we don't have goals and... and you know, Hazard left, who supplied us with loads. And assists. Um, and dribbles. And passes. And assists, yeah. And that's what's going to hurt us probably the most this season. It's not Frank coming in because he no, would have no, kept no. Hazard. Anyone would have kept Hazard. not, but... But, yeah, same, you know, but... he's got to deal with what he's got because, again, we've had a transfer ban, so he couldn't get any goals more into the team. So, yeah, of course it's a worry. That's That's why... You know we're in the situation that we're in, but there's not much we can yeah, do but, about uh, it. We've got to try and trust into these players because that's all we've but got. But at the same time, instead of bringing Giroud on for Tammy Abraham or vice versa, maybe do you not want to see big man, little man up? Do you, want, do you not want to see Barkley come on for a defensive midfielder? Do you not want to see like a left back get get hooked to go on the attack for the fast line? Just little things that aren't just. No, it seems so, so solid we have and actually. Set. No, it's 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 not. So obviously, this isn't in the Premier League yet, and we have only had two games, mind you. But in the in in the build up in the preseason, we played two strikers at once. We had Tammy and Batshuayi on, and you know that seems that they actually kind of what they down. Been on the bench. Um, he's been on the bench. Yeah, I don't think he's not had he's not had any games on yet. But he's been on the bench at least one of the games. I remember seeing him. Because I at um, the moment, I know you're giving him the nine, and I know he's a good player, but he's. Is he not a better option than Tammy Abraham at the moment? What, just while, you, and not a better option is fully just so you can easily, you know, bring Tammy Abraham on for the yeah. bottom of half an hour and what games they're yeah. winning. Like even Kane got brought on in the last minutes, like games when he was breaking through. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's a, that is a shout because as, as much as Batshuayi has had his ups and downs he's more established you know he went off to Palace and did a decent there and he's you know well, he's done well in the Bundesliga but so that is that to be fair that is a good shout um I think just has this quite a lot of trust in Tammy I think I think as well with Tammy he's had such a rough start it's only two games and he's had a pretty rough start especially with the Super Cup mm. um I think that he wants to try and not bench him now because it might look might damage his confidence, you know. So maybe he's waiting for that and That's bringing fair, him into if, the team. How old is he? Is he twenty one? I think he's twenty one. Uh, yeah, he's twenty. He's twenty one or twenty two. You bring a twenty one year old to Chelsea, not back to back to Chelsea. Here you go. Here's the number nine shirt off your fuck. That is that. <laughs> that is the the confidence is only going to either it's either it's going to go perfectly or the confidence is going to take a knock. There's no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I think in the press conference, Frank said um, he he's not disappointed that he missed that penalty. He's best year. He um, he's proud that he said, "I'll take the fifth yeah, one." Yeah. No, he's no, got that fair. confidence. But maybe, yeah, which is you know incredibly maybe, confident. Maybe he shouldn't have. Maybe you know, like just maybe Frank should, as a manager, <laughs> Frank, we should maybe. No, you can't say to a player, "Don't be taking that penalty," but. Yeah, you no. have to sort of maybe sit there. He has to sort of maybe manage his expectations a little bit more. Um, yeah, maybe. Well, like I say, I'm. You know what? I, I, I'm still so happy being a Chelsea fan, and right now, and and I, even though we're having a rough patch, even it's, it's two games. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> Things can change, <laughs> but um, it, it. I still feel better than we did with Sarri as our boss. Okay, even w- with the European trophy, you have. People, yeah, I agree. Uh, no, so uh, Chelsea fans, man, we're weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to run through it as well, um, I, I caught a little bit of the United game, and that is we can everything we've said about the Chelsea game, I think we can just directly apply. Yeah, that. definitely. They definitely. have more goals, which is what I think is the top four is going to come down to. Yeah, it well, especially because of the first two game weeks, you know, we've seen a fair amount of goals, yeah, 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 from Ben, not from, not from, not from you, yeah, no. No, 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 come on, we've got one. <laughs> <laughs> we've got one. Uh, yeah. Um, no, yeah, yeah, but you know, like even fucking Norwich are banging free in. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know someone at my work, and it's technically not him because someone's setting the count up for him. His triple captain, Pookie. Ollie, Ollie, sorry, Ollie Bins triple. Wait, captain, he did last yeah. week. Oh yeah. Really? So he got bare points. He that's no, oh, that's so got triple <laughs> captain Timo Boogie, and he missed the first game week. So now he's already like halfway up the league just from one week, being one week behind. It's like hello, Ollie. <laughs> that's Timo insane. Boogie. Boogie, man, what a geezer! Um, what a geezer! Rate right him, but, but um. I'm actually scared. We've got Norwich next, and I shouldn't be scared of fucking Pookie, but yeah. I am. <laughs> you know what? 
<laughs> I don't know how I feel about that because you should, and we both know you should, but you shouldn't. It's very strange. It, was, it is, isn't it? <laughs> that was my only point about the next game. I've just given it away. Just um, the United game, <laughs> just quickly, let's touch. We talk about Pogba and um, that whole situation, the, the uh, missing the penalty. Uh, yeah. I think it's just bizarre, isn't it? Because um, the fact that he's gone, oh, I will take this pen to Rashford, someone who's been quite confident and scored the previous one and who's had a, a, a decent start already and to go and just put it like where he did and just tried to put it down the middle. Good save, but yeah, it wasn't it's the, still it down wasn't the middle. Like he blazed it. Like it wasn't the great penalty, yeah. but it wasn't oh my god, what are you doing? Like it wasn't Yeah, yeah. No, I mean obviously Rashford should have taken it. That goes without saying, but I did, I haven't watched this particular bit. Did Rashford fight for it or did he just say yeah? No, I think he quite he quite, he bowed down, well, bowed down, but he quite he, quite, he kind of went <laughs> yeah yes yes Pogba <laughs> he, he went yeah yeah no cool cool you got this but he kind of went you got this um yeah. to and so yeah it's yeah. maybe it's partially Rashford's fault maybe Rashford just went no I'm fucking taking it's this because well, Rashford always <laughs> seems to take really shit free kicks whereas like yeah uh, yeah it should probably be the other way around surely like it should always be Rashford on the penalty he's always Pogba on the free kicks or someone like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Neves. All right, and we don't have to say much, but what a sexy oh, goal for a sexy where man. Where is he? He's not here. Anymore. Oh, He's not here anymore. anymore. <laughs> That's so sad. Not looking at him. <laughs> um, have you still got him? Um, you might be somewhere. Uh, I'm currently holding Robbie Cruz. I don't. I'm just holding him. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Good for you. Good yeah, for you. I'll show it to you. Hello. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think we should end part one now. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to talk about Liverpool, but just how shaky they were quickly. Like, compared to just as, oh, yeah, as, I guess as, so, as a yeah. final note, obviously they had the Super Cup and that was different and they had a, yeah, they yeah. a lot more tired, so give them credit. If, mm-hmm. you know, if let's just, for the sake of ease, let's just pretend I've, this is the first game of the season I've watched Liverpool v Southampton, City v Tottenham. Even though Liverpool got the three points, I'm like shit scared of City and not particularly Liverpool. And especially since Danny Ying should have absolutely buried that chance in like the 85th. Like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. so lucky they got away with the win. But hey, that's yeah. Liverpool. Well, yeah, but I said last season they were lucky most of the way and that's what took them so far. Mm. Okay, that's part, part, yeah, that's part it. One. Oh my god, there he is! <laughs> uh, Alright, gonna hang up on here. Um, so, our Facebook video stopped working, so we're, we're doing the rest of this on Omegle. We both like feral kittens, that's our interest. Right, back to the pod. Part two, take four. <laughs> right, um, let's talk about who Chelsea have at the weekend, as if I haven't said that before today. <laughs> uh, it's, it's completely news to me. But, <laughs> um, we have Norwich. We have Norwich away. Um, we, I, I don't want to speak about it anymore. Basically, I'm scared of Pookie. I shouldn't be scared of Pookie. After the two games we've seen so far out of Norwich and Chelsea, they've looked like they can score way more goals opposed to us, which is not fun. Um, but we should win because, come on, it's Chelsea versus Norwich. Come on, boys. It doesn't work like that anymore, Jay. It's a brave new world. It's a, it's a brave... Brave new world. Nineteen twenty. You can't man. handle. You can't handle the heat. Teams like Norwich are gonna come and tear you down. Bless them. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. No, I mean I think you probably will get your first win of the season because I think there's only so much that good. Mem- like they've had their good start now and they can afford. You know they will drop points. Obviously, like mm. Liverpool did batter them. We, we can't forget that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and hopefully, if you if you give half the battering that Liverpool did and don't do what Liverpool do, didn't die in the second half. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah. But I mean, even I've, if you beat them, it's a good start. Yeah, well, obviously we're. Um... That's been our problem so far. Is like dying out in the second half. Excuse me, wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so, and obviously that is an evident point we need to work on. And Frank said it in these press conferences. So hopefully we start getting that better. We don't put out as much energy at the start. Keep the energy we've got. Make some better subs, and we should win this game pretty easily. Mm, wouldn't say pretty easily, but you should win it. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Who do you any, have? Any of the, is, that, I mean, is there anything else you want to say about Chelsea Norwich? Um, no, fuck Norwich, let's go. Just as a side note, the Amigo camera works differently than the Facebook camera because it's flipped. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when I do that, on my phone camera, it goes left, and on my the Amigo camera, it goes right. It's really weird. Oh. Like, <laughs> God's sake, uh, the Amigo episode. You know, the e- this episode is brought to you by Amigo. <laughs> uh, talk to strangers. Um... So, no, uh, we have Newcastle. Uh, so, theoretically, that should be the easiest win in the Premier League at the moment. Touch all the wood. Yeah, they <laughs> like, yeah they're definitely. They're, they're, they're going downhill, as we pretty much um, presumed. They've not had the best start. I, we can't see much optimism coming from the Newcastle camp. I just don't see how a defensive shard... Dummett, sorry Ricardo, um, <laughs> Shard, Dummett, Lascelles and maybe Yedlin or Manquillo can cope with Lucas, Son's back, Son served his suspension now, yep. uh, Ericsson, Lascelso, Kane, Lamella who's you know got his early season form, Like it, it's got a win written all over it, I will confidently say that. It's got like three in Insert, insert Dubravka De, De masterclass. <laughs> um, <laughs> header from Dummett 1-0 <laughs> just a 1-0 oh. brilliant God, but, that would be a Spurs yeah. thing to do wouldn't it but it's one of those things where as well like we, we do really need you to attack it with full confidence because the following Premier League game is the North London derby and we won't get into that right now however yeah that's that's already where some of the focus should be is there not the international break I thought there usually was after the first three games uh, surely not three, is it? Three? It's normally three. Oh, I don't know. I, I, well, I'm not ready for that. No, I didn't know. <laughs> International? And, um, what? England? Um, and I don't just... We'll, we'll, we'll let him talk about it. So, yeah, no, sorry. I've got nothing else to say about that. No, I just, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if it's home or away. Let's just... Come on, Steve Bruce Masterclass. Um, Show the world what you made, our son. We were at home as well, so... <laughs> Surely, surely, it's it's Let's just more sealed on than it was it. against Norwich. Way more. Just make my Super Sunday happy, <laughs> um, and just because we'll have a quick look as well, we're going to ask him to talk about some things anyway. But we're going to quickly just have a look at uh, our friend Adam's fixtures. Yeah, and he has Crystal Palace, Jay. Mm, interesting. Again, who don't look great at the moment. No. Who, you know, they got beat by Sheffield. They drew to Everton, but they've only got a point. Yeah, Zaha is. Probably fuming. Yeah, just does not want to be and there. Just, and you know, this is a player that hasn't had the best time once he's decided he wants to. He forced his way to United. Got then got fell off at United. Yeah, like, this could be it. Could be a struggle for them because when he's the mo- he, I would say apart from Hazard to you guys last season, he was the most important single player to our team. Yeah, that's a, yeah probably because uh, yeah definitely so, definitely that's a good point. Yeah, they're um. It's hard to predict what's happening with them because they are just kind of like struggling, aren't they? But you know, so. But it's United. We'll, yeah. We'll, oh god, eh, I'll cut that out. <laughs> but um, I mean, but United, you know, United as much as United, I mean, as much as I said that Wolves were the better team, United should have won it. They missed the penalty. Yeah, so definitely. Was, and it was a penalty as well. It wasn't like a dubious call. So yeah, play. it was definitely a pen. I think they even thought, yeah, like fair play as a pen. But does Adam agree? All right, guys. Um, in terms of the overall performance on Monday, I feel that a lot of progress has been made since the first game. Um, admittedly, on the on the on the night of the result, I was in a bad mood. the the whole The old Pogba incident, I think, is. Something needs to be forgotten about. I'm not going to go into the the race and the, uh, racism of it all because it's fucking ridiculous now, isn't it? Um, but uh, yeah, so on the night I was I was very disappointed. I feel we should have won. Um, we had all the ball. They just sat in deep, didn't they? They scored a terrific goal, which I'll give them. Um, however, I woke up next morning and there was 
many, many positives to look at. Um, we finally have a back four, I think. Although Shaw had a bit of a quieter game, I feel, you know, it happens every now and then. I think we have a very strong back four now that I want to see for the rest of the season. I don't want to see any changes in it at all. Um, what else have I got here? I made some notes. I actually came prepared today. Um, yeah, in terms of the whole penalty incident, I feel that it's all over the top. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, going to the first game with Chelsea when we got the penalty, there was a discussion of who to take it, who to take it, and Rashford took it, scored it. It was the exact same incident today. They had a, uh, oh, sorry, on Monday. They had a conversation. It was decided that Pogba was going to take it. You either score or you fucking miss, don't you? And he missed. He did miss, you know. It was a, it was a shit penalty. But this whole thing, you know, I heard Neville saying after the game, he, he, he was fuming and I think it was very over the top. It's much ado about nothing in my eyes. Yes, we need to select our penalty taker. It needs to be one of them. But that takes one conversation. Um, so, yeah, but overall, you know, 1-1. One, one. Uh, one of the hardest stadiums you can go to in the Premier League. You know, we got beat twice last year off him. We're still fourth. Our back four is fantastic. Rashford and Marshall are looking very tight together. And it's very nice to see him work off each other. Uh, Pogba's linking in with him as well, very well. Um, but yeah, overall, very fucking positive. Thanks, boys. He's such a waste man, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Idiot, Adam. Idiot. Um, yeah, cool. So we, Sorry, we just asked him to send it, us a video of him like pretending to cry. He's not going to send it now, are we? It's going to be black. <laughs> All right, moving on. Should we? What would you want to move on to? Should we move on to our Fantasy Premier League? Does anyone think I care about in my Fantasy Premier League, Jay? Go on, what is that one thing? I had nine, 20 points on my bloody bench. Oh, that's sad. 20 points. I had Patricio, 9. Yeah. Edison got 1. <laughs> and I had Indeedy. Indeedy on my bench. Oh, no. The fucking 10. And which is, as a side note as well, credit to Indeedy for really fucking up to give Mount that goal and then to come back and pretty much dominate the game from there and then get the equaliser. Yeah, he, he had a class so, game, didn't he, other than the Good one. job. Thing. Uh, but yeah, I, my team's yeah. quite funny. So I didn't do the best. I don't think no one did that great this week. Um, Ooh, that was the worst sentence I've heard in a while. Shay. I don't think no one did that well. <laughs> Smart. That was a car crash. <laughs> Smart me. Anyway, um, but which was quite funny is that um, Ross Barkley didn't play. And yeah. flashback to last week when you took the piss out of my bench. Yeah. Man like oh. Lundstrom <laughs> stepped up That's to the bad. plate and got me 14 points because <laughs> Barkley didn't genuinely, play. He genuinely, genuinely. Gen <laughs> Elliot, uh, Elliot texts me saying, you were a fool to doubt Lundstrom. Like, that, genuinely, <laughs> that's what I got. Just from him listening to us. I just got a text. <laughs> you were a fool. And I was like, I was a fool. You I know. Never doubt so, that yeah, man. I, I, you know what? A formal statement. <laughs> I would like to formally apologise to Lidstrom for my <laughs> hateful, borderline hateful comments <laughs> upon you as an individual and Sheffield United as a club. You have you're in the team of the week. No one can ever take that away from you, and you you help Jay secure a solid. I think he's fourth for the week two. He's my, so, my highest scoring player. <laughs> what a legend. I, he was, in fact, he was the highest scoring player from us combined, I think. I don't think I had anyone higher <laughs> than the mighty Lutz. <laughs> mighty uh, Lutz. Just have a, it's so have funny, a the fact that you... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not a single person. So, um, as the table stands, Ross is still sitting up at top with 120 points, 28 points total. 
<coughs> and embarrassingly, the back post, even though this, the, the league name is the back post, <laughs> you and Adam yeah. are right be- dead set bottom, and I'm only third. I'm not doing the best anyway. <laughs> Ross and John oh, have come right. in. Then again, Adam, Adam again is a car crash. Adam's not doing great. He did 30 this week. Bless it. He's probably not. It's going to take a while for Alonso, him to catch Alonso, zero. Uh, Alexander Arnold, one. <laughs> Saka, one. Tillemans, two. Silva, two. Pogba, zero. Ericsson, two. Keane, one. Rashford, six. And then just the saving grace is Captain Aubameyang, who also only got a six. <laughs> Adam's like crawling with one arm behind his. Oh yeah, and just another thing. Um, if they are talking about the fantasy Premier League, uh, I am bottom. I don't know what they've said about it. Adam again is a car crash. Because I've not been here this week, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm bottom. Um, but it's going to change. Watch this space. Tell your dads. Oh, desperately trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, bless him. I don't, we're we're rinsing him so much, even though he's not here. But the, our league is looking. It's 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 a madness. Ross, fair play, you're doing it's well, even, mate. It's, ironically, it's not even the one we care about. We're in a bigger league that's got twenty quid on the line. It's like a, a three hundred quid prize um, fund. Isn't yeah, it? So, yeah, and I'm also third <laughs> that's in what that. We care about. I'm also third in that. I'm doing okay in that. Where are hey, you? Here's a question. You're eight. Well, I did... Why did um, Sterling get 20 points for his hat-trick in game week one and Pucky only got 17 for his hat-trick in game week two? Whoa, that is fucking is discrimination at its what, finest. What, what is this? Let me, let me work this out. What? This is this is an outrage. This is an outrage. <laughs> Justice for Pukki? Oh, oh, I think it might have been because of the... I don't know. Oh, oh well. We'll find out. Right, we're going to end that part there, I think. Yeah. Are we going to end that part there? Yeah. So literally, this is going to be a few minutes long there, because I've got shit to do with my life. Um, but you are rolling, right? I didn't stop rolling. Ah, good. Um, right, so, first <laughs> of all, the most important thing we're going to say today, and it's, you know, it doesn't need to be, it shouldn't need to be said, but it does need to be said, is... Uh, racism is bad and just stop it's not the first <laughs> like, time we've had to say this on this podcast you know I'll, last season we <laughs> said the exact same thing racism is bad the way you've worded that is like this is not the first time it's, it's made it sound like you expected just me and you to fully end it <laughs> like, just the way you've worded it you're like like world Guys. this isn't the first time the back post is told yet Guys, but, uh, right, if you're be... not listening to us you need to stop <laughs> Right, and a quite depressing thing, Jack. I've only got three other, three little points I want to run through today. So okay, go on. We've got to go through them. First off, there is a genuine, actual, factual chance that Andros Townsend could win a Puskas Award. Oh, I saw that. That is mental. Man like <laughs> Andros. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's behind that messy goal, uh, the one where he just like hits it first time from the edge of the box, and he's also yeah. probably behind that... Quagliaria, uh, the back flick against yeah. Napoli last season, which is actually a thing of actual sex and beauty, and she yeah. praised by all the footballing gods. But just the fact that like, Andros Townsend just holding the Puskas <laughs> Award, like, hello! <laughs> Messi's just there, like. <laughs> Just like, oh, okay. Don't get me wrong, it would, it would be a deserving winner in itself. It was a great... Yeah, it's a good goal, wasn't it? Let's not, let's not disrespect the goal, but let's just... <laughs> Andros Townsend. Andros, what are you doing? Andros. Uh, so Fair play. Um, just because I saw it and I was running out of things to put. Um, <laughs> Sheffield United and Northern Ireland midfielder Ollie Norwood has retired from international football to focus on his club career, Jay. So, so a moment of silence for that one. And finally... <laughs> Um, uh, finally um, just uh, have you seen this old Campbell thing Uh, he's he's been sacked hasn't he he has do you know why he got sacked I don't know why now because he came out in a press conference and basically said this club isn't giving me me what I want and if they want me to do things like they need to actually back me as if like this is this is Macclesfield in like in in the lower leagues this and then he has the like the audacity to come out and say like um, that Black managers don't get a chance, and I'm sure there's truth in that. They don't, but I can tell you who's fucking not helping them in their case. Sol Gamble is your yeah. at, like your persona <laughs> and attitude, and just the fact that you're an, an awful, awful human being 
just it's not like you. it's not like you know Macclesfield are gonna go. Oh, you you're right. Let me just go get the millions of pounds. Yeah, we'll buy Messi in for you, lad. But, you know what I mean? But like, like, what the fuck? It was just, he's, it, to, to, to publicly say that, and like you, you never see, the way he said it was so disrespectful to the club, and then he... Well, he's then, a prick, he, it's, it's Sol Campbell, so he posted, I don't know if you've seen I'll try and find it, and I'll, but, and I'll show it to you as well, Jay, before we go, but he then mm. just selfied himself on the train, and like, with music saying like, I know, like, something like, I'm right or something weird and he was like staring just staring at the camera like and it's just honestly get in the bin as a band like I know that we would like it'd be great if this podcast could could be, you know snowball and become something and, and grow and things will get dug up if we do that and you know we, we have to be careful what we say and essentially but Saul Campbell can fuck himself and I'm happy for him <laughs> on record for this <laughs> You're hearing that in the future when we're rich and famous. So Campbell, That's you're still a prick. It's, got, it's all going to be crumbling. That we'll, we'll approach like a football media, uh, like like uh, umbrella company that want to bring everyone together, and, one, and it's like we're going to bring out our new ambassador, and it's just going to be Soul, and I'll be like, no. And he just points at us. He just goes, you, no, <laughs> you, fuck. I saw episode. I saw season two, episode three. You. Fuck. And then no. he brings out Wayne Rooney, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, I oh, saw God. episode two, season one. We're like, shit. And um, Chiellini and Benucci for the timeline mistook one for the other. Yeah, yeah. And they accused him of being a racist instead. It's just a whole. It's just like, oh no. <laughs> We're just fucked. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, Let's hope that never happened. that scenario never happens. <laughs> and I can't hope it does. I feel like it's yeah, more media coverage well, than it, if it, it, things go well. <laughs> If you guys want that to happen, every one of you is watching, <laughs> like and subscribe. Direct message Sol Campbell this episode if you watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what. Let's get this show oh. on the road. Uh, right. <laughs> I've, been a... I've got a busy few days ahead of me, Jay, so. Um, I have two. I'm going to lead first. To, to more detail on Sheffield United and Northern Ireland midfielder Ollie Norwood retiring from international duty, I think we should probably call it there. I was hoping you'd do that. For oh, well, let's get it up part. then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, go sit down, everyone. Get some popcorn. Where the fuck do you think you were going? Sit down and hear about Oliver Norwood. Um, no, yeah, you're going to Leeds. I'm going camping with the fam. So, like, but not like actual camping, like campsite camping. Yep. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm getting drunk tomorrow. So, and I've only got, not tomorrow, Thursday. So, I've only got Wednesday to do this. So, it might have Thanks been for watching. shoddy. It's um, fine. Cool. Uh, cheers, Adam, for your contribution. Not that sounds really sarcastic. That was actually trying to be a. Sincere. Cheers, Adam, for that helping. I was, was trying to actually be a sincere. Like, thanks for sending things in. But now I just like I've absolutely slammed Adam off. <laughs> Sorry, we already Adam. have this podcast, man. Bless him. Thanks for your contribution, Adam. <laughs> Tell your fucking father, Adam. <laughs> right. Okay. God. Right, thanks right. for watching, everyone. Thanks bye. for listening. See you later. Tell your dad. Tell bye. your dad.